Hey everyone, this is Noah from Elementor. Have you ever wanted full control over your sidebar's design without having to limit yourself to the WordPress or themes built-in settings? If so, this is the right tutorial for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how, in the simplest of ways, you could use your saved Elementor templates to insert creative designs into widget areas or into any area that supports shortcodes. This includes sidebars, footers, pop-ups, you name it. So let's begin. As you can see here, I have a standard blog post with a standard WordPress sidebar. The page needs some touch-ups, so I'd like to add a design sidebar display of my own. Now you probably remember how to save a section as a template in Elementor and where all the templates are listed. Nevertheless, we'll head over to the dashboard, Elementor, My Library, where you could find all the saved templates. From here, you have a direct link to add a new template and edit it within Elementor. But I already added a new template and saved it as blog sidebar. Let's edit it. Before we continue, here is a little sweet tip. If you are designing a template for your sidebar and you want to view it in a more suitable width, you could always go over to the mobile mode of the page. All right. So here you could see the template itself, and now I'd like to show you how to insert this save template as the post sidebar. So I'll head over to the dashboard again. And appearance widgets. And here you will find our cool Elementor template widgets. And once it's dragged into the sidebar, I could select the template that I want. So I'll select this one. Now note how right after you select a template, you have a direct link to edit it. Then I'll save. And I'll just quickly erase the rest of these widgets. And now I'll go back to my post right here and refresh it. And will you look at that? So simple. Now I'd like to change the background of the About Me area. So in the Templates Editing page, right here, I'll head over to the section and Style, and I'll give it an image, say this one, and a background overlay. All right, and then I will save it. And I'll go back to our post, refresh it, and see how the background has changed here as well. And now that we are on the topic of widgets, note that Elementor itself also has a template widget. If I open here a new page, edit with Elementor, See how here too you have a template widget, which you could drag in and select the template of your choice, say this one. So now that we went over the widget option for the templates, I'll show you the shortcode option. So we'll head back to the dashboard, Elementor, my library. And as you could see, each and every template has its own short code. So for example, if I want to add to our post a newsletter signup area right in the middle of its contents. So all I do is go over to the template that I want and copy its short code, then head over to our post and edit it. And then I could paste the short code wherever that I want, say here update, let's view it, and here it is. This powerful feature and widget is so helpful, it opens for you an unlimited design control over your entire website's display. Simply amazing. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.